Hey guys, it's Zach with Blade HQ. We're at SHOT Show 2019. We're at the Medford booth. I'm standing here with Greg Medford. How's it going? Good. How you doing, man? Good to see you. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, yeah. and uh, he's going to run us through what's new and awesome here at Medford Knives. So what do we got? All right, so for, for this year what's new, I think the best thing to do is juxtapose off a play from last year. All right. So a quick rehash on one little thing from last year, and we'll jump right into this year. So last year we launched our really successful USMC fighter. Um, it's done really well for us, obviously kind of uh, inspired by the utility knife the Marine Corps has been using for 70 years. A uh, lot of cool things about this, I won't do a deep dive on it, but you know, all titanium, G10, no constriction, no rat tail, full tang, really, really penultimately strong drop point S35VN knife. There's one, one thing with that, absolutely beautiful sheath as well. Thank you, absolutely very cool le sheath. leather sheath. So, uh, to, to complement that, what I wanted to do, I started off this year with a uh, the USMC Fighter Flipper. And these knives really go together. If we were to compare them both, you see the handle's almost exactly the same size. I've uh, flute, put fluting on the handle, inspired by the kind of grip grooves that's been on the knife for 70 years. And then I did something I've never seen on a, on a uh, folding knife, and maybe it's out there, I don't look at many other knives, but we put a solid pommel on it. So the pommel's pretty cool. It's one of the most expensive little pieces we've ever machined. It's a seven op, solid titanium, key locked, uh, key interlocked, pinned and screwed part. It's really cool, really expensive, and really tough. Yeah. So what's cool about it, you can actually, no kidding, I would approve of anybody using it as a kind of hammering implement for all the other things you would do with a knife in addition to that. Um, so this, uh, it's got a hardened back strap. The back strap slip, you can even see if you look down in here, the back strap slips up inside this and then it's screwed on at the end. So it's a really cool titanium part. Just from machining technology wise, it's a sick little part. And then it's my first, uh, you know, uh, you know, fully milled kind of bearing style clip. The clip's cool. It's a one screw clip that's indexed with a hardened pin so that it won't twist. Twist in there. Yep. So a uh, really cool little, I was going for a simple aesthetic. And if this is the design uh, uh, kind of thing that's informing you, there's no clip that's ever been associated with anything like this. So what do you do, you know? Right. Yeah. So I want I thought, my kick has been clashing uh, the modern and uh, classic together over the last couple of years, so I thought I would do a really kind of high-speed low-drag clip for it. This knife will be a, uh, available S35VN blade, all titanium uh, spring and handle side, titanium parts, stainless steel bearing, phosphor bronze washers, all diamond hand-lapped, uh, and then blackout hardware all around, PVD-coated uh, blade, DLC uh, uh, hardware, PVD coated pommel. pommel. So man, it, and so bronze <laughs> and black, and I think it'll you know it'll really kind of these will pop together. Um, so, anyways, that's yeah. the USMC Fighter Flipper. Check it out. Yeah, and this is something, guys. If you're not familiar with Medford knives, this right here is a perfect example of what these guys are about. Well built, American made construction, and just all the way, just all the details, right? And that's that's what you guys do, and you guys do it so well. There's a lot of me people making knives around the world that are good, good folks, and a lot of good knives. Yeah. Uh, I just I want to try and do something different, and uh, I not just style and function, but you know functionality and form together. Yeah. And then another thing that you guys might not be able to translate through camera, these these edges here are are rounded just enough that you're not feeling any sort of a hot spot in there or anything. So it's it's just great all the way around, man. So, Sweet. Uh, you know, it's funny, guys have been picking it up and they're like, oh, this is ridiculous. And, you know, we've had some hit knives before and uh, I hope this is another one. I've had a really good positive response from that. Yeah. All right, moving on, let's uh, take a look at a twist on something we launched in 2018 and it's really gonna be cranking in 2019. This is our Smooth Criminal. When it's in red, we call it the Crimson Criminal just because I like the way it sounds. It's kind of sinister and fun. Um, but the Crimson Criminal, it's all made in house. It's our first aluminum button lock chassis. This, just like every other knife that I make, the intention is to bring something slightly different to the marketplace. So if you feel this, grab onto the blade, move the blade around. Oh, wow. In you every mean, direction. You mean don't move the blade around. Right. <laughs> and now break the button and bring it halfway and move it around there. 
That's so impressive. The whole goal here is in, if I'm going to bring something like button locks have been done, little knives have been done, aluminum chassis have been done, everyone I pick up's got wiggle and play all over the place. If I'm going to do it, let's do something that hasn't been done and let's make it, you know, it's got that unique sound. Yeah. Like, I want it to have, like, that people say, oh, it's got a Medford sound, or I'm in a crowd and I hear one of your knives open and I look over and it's one of your knives. Maybe it's the chassis, maybe it's all the time we spend lapping the stuff together. I don't know what it is. Uh, maybe it's just uh, my Icarus hubris coming through in the, in the, in the design, but um, guys get them in their hands and uh, they go, you know, it's super light, it's small, very pocket friendly. This is a $290 offering. I know it's not exactly new to the market this year, but the colors are, and then there's an auto coming of this. Uh, that comes out, uh, we'll launch at Blade Show. That's exciting. That and be it's first, really cool. That would yeah. be your guys' first auto, right? Yes. That's so really exciting. We have two autos coming out. I can do a little teaser now if yeah, you don't mind, right? Yeah, so let's do it. we've got this auto, and then we have what's called the Praetorian Swift. So I took the Praetorian knife, and I thought the Praetorian as an automatic, I thought it was kind of, um, I thought it was like, putting a Ferrari engine in an F2 F250 pickup truck, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like I like this, it. This thing's like a platinum F250 diesel, you know, total yeah. badass, $80,000 pickup truck, crazy, right? Uh, but you put a Ferrari engine, it just doesn't fit, doesn't make sense. So what I did was I took the design style of this and I narrowed it down. I got rid of a lot of the uh, features you see on the knife. I smoothed it out. The jimping has gone off of it. The breaker's gone off of it. It's a titanium and aluminum combo, fully nested chassis with an integral back strap, button lock, Praetorian, automatic. It's sick. That so, sounds sick. Yeah, that's <laughs> gonna be a lot of fun. So we're doing a, a, a all aluminum button lock automatic and an aluminum titanium hybrid, what's gonna be called a Praetorian Slim. Slim. And they're both off this Swift chassis. So it looks like um, I don't know how else to explain this to everybody, but if you know the difference between a uh, Cayman and a uh, 911, they've got a real similar lineage and look to them, but they're different when you go, you go oh wow, this yeah, is different. Yeah, you put them next to each other and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah those are yeah, different. Yeah. Like you'll be able to go, oh, this is a Medford for sure. Is that a Praetorian? Oh, not really. So it's kind of cool. So this will be our first automatic coming up, but right now it's just out as a really cool uh, little pocket-friendly aluminum chassis button lock flipper, That's okay? Great. It's great all the way around. And uh, I mean, this is something, so here, right? You see now, there's a decent lockup. You don't get a lot of blade play, but here, this is really impressive. Like to see just nothing. There's no movement there at all, guys. So yeah, that's incredible. I always, as a, just as a knife person that's tested more knives than most humans, except yeah. maybe Chris Reeve, right? <laughs> uh, I, I like to take a knife. I like to take it just off unlocked and I like to wiggle it here because you get the best leverage. I like to wiggle it in the 90 degree and I like to get it here because you can get good leverage on it. So yeah. I feel here and I feel here. I do the lock, I feel here, and then I feel for radial and axial lash with the blade looking right at me. And I wanted to make a knife that had my, uh, kind of my feel and characteristics. It's on bearings though. So it's my first bearing knife. It's not the way I'm going, but for a very small mass flipper that you want to actually flip, you kind of... Yeah, you throw was, those bearings was, in and just... It was a good way to go. Yeah. And a guy's not going to, with this little mass, little tiny blade, be opening and doing this trunks and prying doors the way he does with my Praetorian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's the Smooth Criminal. Last new thing for this show is the Hunden. Now, Hunden is German for a dog or hound. This is an all-titanium frame lock knife, S35 VN blade, um, eighth inch dimensions, so this is a 125 scales, 125 blade. For those of you who might be familiar with our uh, Slim Midi, it's the exact same dimensions as uh, slab thicknesses as our Slim Midi. So uh, we just wanted to make, I wanted to make a much shorter, uh, uh, tiny little high-end frame lock that wasn't really restricted in Boston or New York or anywhere else. I mean, this is a, this is a knife you can carry just about anywhere. Nice thing about this knife is, uh, you know, it's got a fully uh, fully machined uh, and sculpted clip on it. The nice thing about this knife, when you open this up and you grab onto it, it really feels like a full-size knife. Yeah, I got about a medium hand si or a medium-sized hand, and that fits perfectly in hand. So, 
a great, I think, you know, like if I was skinning, this this knife is fantastic for skinning. It's fantastic yeah, nice for city belly. stuff. Yeah. Um, and, and it's, I think it's got like a lot of character for a little knife. Um, so anyways, very cool little knife. Um, a, a, again, a lot of times people, um, they, they uh, you know, everyone says, what separates us from the monkeys? Yeah. Is it laughter? Is it this? Is it that? Is it tool use? And it turns out they use sticks to get ants out of ant hills and all that stuff, right? But really, I think what separates us from the monkeys is we're the most adaptive species on the planet. So when if you're into knives, don't be myopic. Or like, oh, my last knife was like this. This is what I like. Just be open-minded. Um, adapt. Be a human. Be adaptable. <laughs> you know, the reason we're so prolific here is we adapt to everything. Oh, it's too cold. We make a jacket. Yeah. It's too hot. It's too sunny. We put a hat on. We turn color. Whatever. So the nice thing about uh, this, I've kept the part count down on it. It's still, you know, it's in the high end price point, but it's on the low end of my scale. And I do that by keeping some of the hardware out of it. When you go to use my knives, thumb from the pivot to the furthest point on the blade, this is where you're going to have the best opportunity to open the knife from. And then use what guys call a blood groove or fuller groove. Use that as a thumb slide. And then a lot of times people pick up my knives and they squeeze on the, the, the spring on the back and it's pushing the detent ball into it and they're sitting there squeezing on it trying to open and they can't. So you kind of develop a little technique. Now I've only opened this thing about five times with my, with my hand and I've got pretty big paws. I mean, I made that for my hand. <laughs> right. And uh, it, it's still really kind of one hand friendly and just like anything else, try it a few times. It's not going to be like your last knife. It's your new knife. <laughs> but anyways, that's our uh, Hunden. Uh, of course, as always, made in the U.S. at our shop in Phoenix. Of course. Hand ground, hand sharpened, hand chamfered. Just about hand every damn thing that matters. CNC located, I suppose, would be the most CNC on it. Yeah. Okay? Cool. Well, and uh, it's a fitting name when you talk about evolution and adaptability, right? So humans... We've been everywhere, right? We, we go everywhere, we do what we want. And dogs are actually the next ones because we'd always take our dogs with us. You know, yeah. So, so it's interesting, right? You know, you talk about this and uh, it's it goes funny, right along It's funny with to bring it. it up. So like my lawyer, myself, and another company that had a name uh, after one of my knives, we were like 2 o'clock in the morning emailing each other. Yeah, just figuring it out. Yeah, like, hey, you know, I already used that name. And I've had this happen to me where I go to name something and a company emails me and says, hey, man, you can't use that name. We have that. And I'm like, ah, hell. Naming knives is hard, but here's what I thought about this knife, all right? I, I, like, uh, I like having dogs around. I always have two dogs at the office. I like having dogs with me, and uh, a dog's like this trusted little companion. Yeah. And I'm not a big dog guy, because that's like having a homeless guy crapping in your backyard. <laughs> I'm a little dog guy, so right. I like Jack Russells. I like tough little dogs. I got a French Bulldog and a Jack Russell. Cool. So I like little dogs. So I get this little knife, and I thought it's loyal, a loyal companion like a little dog, a hundred. That you can so, take anywhere. So that's why I came up with it. That's great. <laughs> awesome. All right, well, thanks so much for having us. Appreciate you guys having me on the show. Appreciate it. A lot of, lot of awesome offerings. Oh, and uh, about price, what's roughly price range on something $450, like this? 250 750 750 <laughs> Yeah. And if I didn't have the pommel on, it'd only be 100 bucks. Yeah, well, that's the thing, though, is it's a great piece of construction, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, well, thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate it. Make sure to check out our 2019 SHOT Show playlist. And I think uh, me and Jamie are probably going to sit around here and do some arm wrestling or something, right? All right, that's cool. Do I get anything else? Uh, yeah, go, go to MedfordKnife.com and check out my cool stuff. Do it. And go to our Facebook channel as well. we got all kinds of crazy things going on. Yeah. Let us know down in the comments, too. Autos. Medford Autos. It sounds exciting. So, thanks, guys.